This is a 2.5 cc diesel engine of the type that was fairly common some years ago. Now I make these engines and at the moment I'm machining the crankcase which is this part here. The crankcase starts off as a casting which has been made in a gravity die and so it has a lot of ex extra material in there which has to be machined away to finish it. Now the crankcase, the crankcase will be machined in this lathe which is an American lathe made from about 1960 until just recently. It was such a high quality lathe and held in such high regard by companies all around the world that it's still made in Asia. The crankcase is mounted in a moving spindle in what's called a chuck or a fixture and that rotates to machine the part. I'll, I'll make it rotate now. Okay. So, mount this crankcase in the fixture. So you're rotating again. Now I'm going to machine the horizontal axis which is the location for the crankshaft in this engine. The lathe has a tooling plate here which can take as many as eight different tools, eight different cutting tools. And each tool rotates into position as required. This tool, top plate, moves on a moving saddle which can be moved manually like this or it can be powered and the tool can be moved in, in and out either manually or under power. Okay. Now I have to edit this bit. There is a pump which supplies coolant, which is a cutting oil, onto the workpiece so that the tool cuts properly. This, this cutting oil also serves to wash away all the small pieces of metal which are cut off. So, we'll start off with the first tool and bring it into position, which on this dial here is zero. The tool is locked in position. The lathe is started. The first tool here is a big center drill. It's going to go straight up into the rear of the crankcase and centre the bearing housing for the following drills and tools. Okay, now the next tool is a drill which will drill out all the excess material at casting. I need to change a length stop which is a rotary stop down here to the wing tool. And 
this tool is going to cut the rear face off the crankcase. Okay. Now the next tool is a large boring bar which will remove a large, a large bulk of material in that crankcase. I'll just set the tool position start with. Of course there's a large amount of material in there, I need to take two or three passes. Not that the machine couldn't take off all that material in one, in one pass, but you have to consider the strength crankcase and the fixture that's holding it. So we'll take another pass for another setting. And yet another pass. Now this pass is very close to the finished diameter or bore of the crankcase. But there is a recess that has to be cut to clear the conroid. So I'm going to bring this tool into the position that I'm setting here and pull it out for the forming cut. Now, reverse it along. Finish setting and take it out. And then finally, finally I set the tool to take the last few thousandths of an inch off this crankcase and to make sure that it's a nice smooth finish, the machine can do this under power. So this, this part of the crank came bored out. There's a recess there for the conrod, which you probably can't see from that position. But now the next thing to do is to put a chamfer in the end ready to tap the thread. So I'll bring this chamfering tool around, reset the stop, reset the tool back to zero. Now there's a little chamfer in there. Next step is to reduce the speed of the load. I'm watching the length on this dial here so I know when the tools reach the end of it. It has an hour. I'll move it out slightly. Bring this next already for generation in. Off. The only the thing I need to do now is to just check this crankshaft bore with this gauge to make sure within specification. This gauge is half a thou inch in diameter. Hit down here and this is the, the opt size. So as long as this end enters, which it does, and the other end enters fairly tightly, so that's within specification. And there it is. Conrod clearance, that face has been machined, and that's the, the finished case ready for the bush. Lastly, I've cleaned all the swarf out of here. Ready for the next one.
That's it.